For the sample problem that I'm going to choose for Chapter 9 Molecular Geometry, I'm going to use the molecule SiH4, which is silicone tetrahydride, aka silane. To find the molecular geometry of this molecule, you first need to determine the number of valence electrons. So you find each element on the periodic table, and we know that Si has four valence electrons and hydrogen has one, but since there are four hydrogens, we're going to multiply that and we get a total of eight valence electrons. The next step is to, to draw the Lewis structure. So we're going to put our Si in the middle, and we are going to bond them with hydrogens. To check the valence rule, we know that um, hydrogen can only only carries two electrons, so we're going to have two here, two here, two here, and then make sure that Si is satisfied, so two, four, six, eight. Therefore, this is the completed Lewis structure for this molecule. The electron domain geometry comes from the number of bonded pairs, and we see that we have one, two, three, four, and zero unbonded pairs. So we are going to determine by looking at our chart that this is a tetrahedral molecule. And that's also the shape of, that's also the molecular geometry. It's the same because of the number of bonded um, electron domains. Um, to determine if this molecule is polar or nonpolar, um, it is nonpolar due to its symmetry.